Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Don't Die Minerva, an upcoming roguelike type game about a little girl lost in a haunted mansion who will die horribly over and over again unless we can help her navigate these frightful halls. Coming out December 5th, we've got a chance to look at it a little early. Let's jump on in. Obviously, normal difficulty. All right, Shallow Grove. I see. What? Where is this place? Mom? Dad? Where are you guys? My head hurts. I, I think I'm lost. Hey, it looks like the lights are on in that spooky old house. Definitely a time to go check that out. But first... All right, odd summoning circle. Definitely nothing suspicious over there. Gates with eyeballs on them. Also, definitely not suspicious in any way. Super scary, uh, hard difficulty mode door to hell? Probably. But we'll explore more later. Let's jump right on into the gameplay. Oh, and look, it's how welcoming it is. Hello. Welcome. What does it say? Something good. Mr. Buttersworth. Or Butterworth. Aha! You must be Minerva. I'm Butterworth. Quick now, I'd offer you tea, but there's really no time to get acquainted. You're still alive, but that won't last long. Not here at Shallow Grove. If you want my help, I'll need you to fetch something for me. Do you see that elevator? It will take you as far into the house as your skill and courage will bear. Use your flashlight to harvest essential crystals. But beware, the master's pets, they detest intruders. Somewhere in the house you'll find a fountain. It will carry you back here. Bring me some essence and we'll talk more. A quick now, child. There's not a moment to lose. Oh, and one more thing. Don't die, Minerva. Title drop, boom. So, Buttersworth, the friendly, headless butler. This must be the master over here. Friendly, friendly looking folk. There's also a chef. Gotta love friendly chefs. To be honest, if this was me, I would probably just walk out now at this point. I mean, talking headless butlers. What is this, Halloween? Ooh, a gift. It's a monkey. A level 1 monkey. Alright. Common level 1. Damage 21 to 29. 31 DPS. 70% crit damage. 5.6 crit chance. I like it. Alright. We have a friendly monkey to help us out now. Okay, so we do damage with our magical flashlight. Oh dear. Let's try out the monkey. Actually, kind of surprised I uh, managed to avoid getting hit there. Oh god, she killed my monkey. Oh, easy there, ghosty friend. I am mildly disappointed in myself. Alright, got some coins. Alright, pretty straightforward. Little twin stick shooter action here. As we're twirling, twirling, twirling towards our freedom. I bet we'll, uh,. We'll die if we fall down there, I'm guessing, so let's try not to fall down there. Ooh, I I don't have a reflection. I'm a ghost. Or maybe it's just the camera angle. I can see my shadow, but I can't see me. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's any other secrets here. But then again, what if there was a secret? I, I walked right into that. Alright, so far so good. Let's uh, let's kill the orange guys first, because they seem the hard ones. Alright, hey, and monkey survived. Hmm, we're full up there. Ooh, does shining- ooh. Oh my- oh my. 
A flashlight can also break furniture, huh? Which means it can reveal secrets. Alright, what do you got for me? A quartz. What does this do? 23% damage versus burning foes. Knocks the target back with a chance of a wall slam. Gives us two uh, light attribute, I assume. We can either give it to our monkey or to our flashlight. Ah, physical damage. I gotcha. Oh, and we've actually got a choice now. And where do we go? Let's go this way. Also, we'll grab the uh, gem. All right, so we actually can shove our enemies back. I like it. Well, that was easy. Oh boy, I love an easy life. Though, having said that, we are at 66 health, so... What does this do? 29% damage versus burning foes. Chills the target with a chance to freeze. Well, we'll put that on our monkey, because why not? And we can keep on keeping on this away. Let's uh, drop that monkey while we can. There we go. So level one makes me assume that our flashlight never things will event whoop eventually level up. Presumably Presumably uh in between or when we go back to Buttersworth. Alright, nicely done. Oh boy, so many options. Not a lot of health though. Though we're in a bit of danger there, I would dare say. Okay, this... You know what, we'll go this way. Oh dear. Okay, avoid getting hit. And don't stand on the fire. Oh jeez. Okay, so they, they explode when they die. That's important to know. Alright, monkey, save me. Nicely done. So with the quartz, can we like just stack quartz on top of each other? Oh, jeez. Feel like a bit of an idiot for that one. Stepped right on the fire. I wonder if there is any healing to be had. Quickly, 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 quickly. The answer so far seems no. But, oh, I bet if I had some kind of burning effect, I could do something with this. But that'll have to wait. Oh, we actually just circled around. Okay, so... There is definitely a kind of uh, consistency here. Or rather, you know, like... We'll fill a full level. It's a bit of a dungeon crawler type thing. Also, this uh, guy's got a, a skull on his head, so I'm assuming he's some kind of like champion enemy. I also... Good job. A champion or a boss or something of that nature. We're also very close to dying. I don't know how I didn't get hit, but I didn't, so... Good on me, I guess. Oh, jeez. Never champion type enemy there. Monkey, save me! Whoa, boy. I, I feel very unsafe right now. I just want to put that on the record. I mean, 19 hit points. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got our key. Which means we are presumably... Oh, this is this room is gold. I just noticed that. Or no, that's because we're in this room. All the rooms have been gold. I think. Oh ho ho! Easy does it. All right, I'm pretty sure we are one hit away from dying. So you know we should probably probably try to avoid getting hit. Got to be a little bit more careful than I normally am, because I am really good at letting myself get hit. So far, so good, though. So what is this blue thing, exactly? I assume that's to recharge uh, our... I'm gonna call it our mana bar. Which our special abilities here seem to do. Hey! Oh, cool! 
I didn't notice that until just now. That is a nice touch. You walk in the goop of the ghosts, and you get little footprints wandering around. I like that. It's the little details that make a game. You know what? I don't want to... I bet I can survive that, but I don't want to risk it. Let's, let's go the safer way, shall we? Alright, so this way must be the way to the big bad boss. Wanna walk in the... Walk on the ground now. Oh yeah, we better pick up the vital essences. Which is what I assume those crystals are. Alright, this must be the exit. But Mr. Butterworth said I should find a fountain and bring him some essence crystals. I should keep searching for the fountain before I leave. Let's see, so where... Ah, there is a room off to the side that we missed. Well, I mean, that kind of looks like a fountain with some scary hands on it. So what do you want to bet the butler is actually secretly evil? Because that's how these things normally are. The bust... the buster. The butler is either your friend or he is secretly responsible for everything. All right. Come on, monkey. Keep me alive. I mean, it'd probably help if I... Nice. Grab some coinage. Drop another monkey to protect us. Careful not to get hit. A little bit of gold. Oh, and there's some more crystally things over here. I'll take that. Delightful. Just a quick check over here. Ooh, there's something locked in the middle. So we've got a backpack, some boots, a necklace, our monkey, and a flashlight. Ah. Oh, and we can see our attributes here. So physical gives us more health and more wall slam chance. Flame is more friendly damage or bomb chance. Ice reduces the damage taken and has a chance to freeze enemies, and Voltaic increases flashlight damage and shockwave chance. Okay, so there are, there are little details that we still need to learn. But now we have picked up a little bit. Oh jeez. I don't like these orange guys. Mostly because, you know, they've got a... That's a big crystal over there. Oh. Alright, take out the bats, because they shoot stuff at us, and generally speaking... Ooh, that was a big pot of gold. Give me red. Quartz. Quartz. This is plus two. Though, interesting. This is an epic quartz that we have now. Hmm. So, I mean, I guess technically the Epic Quartz might be better, but I personally think the plus, the plus two might be preferable. You know what? I, let, let me just double check this. Since health is a, a thing we can kind of check here. Let's see. Yeah, so plus two is better than plus one. Though we lose a bit of burning foe damage, which I assume is what the orange guys are. But more health might be to our advantage. And if only we could get some kind of uh, health regeneration, we would be even better served. You know, I really should be a bit more strategic about where I place my monkey. What's this about the other side? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, don't get hit, don't get hit. <laughs> oh, and there's a, a necklace over there. Which will no doubt make us more powerful. Also, some more fancy crystals. Okay, so our default necklace doesn't do anything, but our iron chain. Okay, it's a rare physical. It gives us plus two, so more health. Lowers damage from melee attacks. Lowers damage from traps. Okay. And also a never... Oh, a couple of crystally things there. And the level just keeps going. That's right, because we haven't found the fountain yet. Let me just make sure we haven't missed anything over here. But I love to be thorough in these sorts of things, because you never know. I'm trying to see there if I could see the necklace we're wearing. 
Man, that monkey is really... It does a lot more damage than I do, basically. Whoa, jeez. Look at that. All right, you have been defeated, my friend. And a sapphire. This... It's only plus one, so we'll leave it. Since we don't have any special abilities to, I don't know, like, merge gems together into, like, plus three or plus four or plus infinity gems. Well, this is definitely a friendly looking room and nothing bad could possibly happen in here at all. What's this? It must be the fountain Mr. Butterworth told me about. Now what? Well, I guess we just climb on in. Ooh, what's this? That's the boss, isn't it? He does not look friendly. Okay, so far so good. We have thrown our coin in, and I think we be- oh. And we're back where we started. Outside the mansion, interesting. So what would have happened if I had descended deeper? Also, I can't help but feel that this giant field has to be for a reason. Okay. So the world is now red. Oh! Dr. Mendelot. Greetings, young lady. Your coin is always welcome here. Oh, he's literally a... Oh, he's the floating head above the chest. Okay, and we can actually buy some items if we want it. Okay, interesting. And I do have the money for it. But, I think I'm gonna hold off on- Hello there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Door. You look kinda ominous. Ah, and there's Buttersworth. Ah, there you are! Do you have any essence for me? If so, I think I can put it to good use for you. Also, my voice changed ever so slightly. I see you've been reunited with one of your stuffed friends. The magic of this place does have its charms, to be sure. A few tips, my dear, if you'll permit me. Always be dashing. A well-timed dash is the key to avoid danger. You needn't always aim your torch or flashlight in the same direction as you run. Try aiming one way and trotting in another. Rely on your friends. That stuffed pet of yours is good for more than a comforting hug. Deploy it in the heat of battle. Wait, there's a dash? Ah, here we go. Dodge roll. What else you got for me? Ah, we can upgrade. Okay. Healthy living. Exit elevator rooms will offer an opportunity to replenish a small portion of your health. Use it wisely. Must fully purchase to unlock. Okay. Unwanted items can be recycled into coins. Coin purse of eternity. Alright, so this is probably what we, what we get to keep forever, but I bet coins are the thing that we need to, uh... Yeah, so we lose our coins if we die, which means might as well heal ourselves now before we uh, move on. Okay, I will purchase that small health, which did not actually help us as much as I might have liked it to, but it helped us more than, than uh, if we had not taken it. Now, I suspect we just have to go back into that... I'm, I'm curious about that door. This is probably to like unlock hard mode or something. Or something. It's always something, really. Alright. And off we go. Yes. And away we go. Okay. So that's level one taken care of. Let's make our way to the elevator. I was almost expecting there was going to be like a big boss fight in that room. It, it looked like the kind of place for a big boss fight, didn't it? But then again, I suppose that's what those champion enemies in the dining room type area were all about. So that is that, I guess. Right. Well, I'm having a good time with this so far. It's a pretty, uh, 
Pretty straightforward game. Learning some things. This is going to do something at some point, isn't it? Just not yet. So instead, we shall call the elevator and descend, or ascend, perhaps, into whatever horror awaits us. What a nice elevator. It's got couches and everything in it. Okay, there is... That is something new. It's like a lady... Oh boy, almost got hit. Gotta remember, these things can explode. Okay, we've got green guys now. What do you do? Oh. Beautifully done. Alright, so this is a... Oh, a plus free quartz. Well, obviously, we want to give it to this. Okay. Pick up our delightful essence. Make sure there's nothing else, uh... Hanging around. This really reminds me of Gungeon here. The... The flaming floors. I mean, I, I know, uh... I know Gungeon... out. Good job. Well, well played, well played. Okay, so we're back down to that whole, uh, if we get tapped ever so gently once, then we shall die. And I don't know about you, but I would rather not die. So let's, let's try not to do that. Let's make it to at least floor three. Or attempt to, anyway. We'll get to floor three or die trying. Oh, this guy's got a shield now. Oh, jeez. I got hit. <laughs> ah, shucks. Well, that actually happened at pretty much the perfect time. All things considered. What, what just happened? Did I die? I don't feel dead. Let's see what Mr. Butterworth has to say about this. Yes, let's, let's, uh, let's see what he has to say. The plot twist is we've been dead all along. Ah, you died, I see. And yet, you're still here. That is curious, but a good sign. Don't let that go to your head, though. That, is that all you had to say? Your friendly creatures seem to have minds of their own. And they are very devoted to you. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. So, lesson for next time. Don't get hit. Second lesson, don't get hit. And third lesson, don't get hit. Alright. It's probably time to wrap this first look episode up. So, when we come back next time, we shall endeavor to keep Minerva from dying. And generally, ideally do a little bit better than we did last time. So, with that in mind... As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like with anything new on the channel, it's always extra, double, super special important to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.